Hello, so this is going to be a quick video just talking about optics in Steel Division. So if you've seen some of my previous videos or if you just know on your own, units all have an optic and a stealth rating. So those ratings for optics go from very high, high, normal, low, very low. Stealth goes from very good, good, medium, bad, and very bad. Generally, very high is only infantry scouts. Uh, infantry recon, I'm sorry. Tanks will have very low, and infantry, your regular infantry will be normal. And then again, recon, usually infantry recon has very good stealth. Infantry, regular infantry are usually good stealth, and tanks are very bad. Unless if it's a light tank or a half track, those will kind of get around uh, just bad. Now, this wrap the question was. Let's say I have infantry, which has normal optics, trying to spot, let's just say, another infantry that has good stealth. How? What's the range of that? Uh, the game currently in beta doesn't give you any information. I tried Googling, looking some of the stuff, couldn't figure out. So me and a friend did, ran some tests. So we just took off firing, had everyone hold fire, was moving units to see when they could detect each other. So very quickly, I'll explain the uh, sheet here, the Excel sheet or Google sheet. So in the first column is just the unit role. It uh, doesn't really matter too much. But the second column is that unit's optic or sight rating. The middle column is the maxed range that unit could view the target unit. So this unit... Uh, and A2 is trying to spot this unit and F2. So this is a recon unit trying to spot another recon unit. This column E is the target unit stealth rating. And tar column D is whether that unit was moving. If it's blank, it means they're standing still or if they're in yellow or green cover. So quickly, a uh, unit, a recon unit with which has very high optics, trying to spot another recon unit with very good stealth, which is moving, can spot it at 825 meters or less. If that recon unit stops moving, it drops down to 725 meters. So if that if you're running at 800 meters, this unit could see you. Another recon would see your recon, but if you just stop moving, he'll lose vision. Uh, so a recon can spot another recon hiding in yellow cover at 350 meters if they're in green cover 175 meters. So to mix it up a bit, if we look at infantry, if you have infantry trying to spot recon, if the recon is in the open, it can only spot it at 240 meters. Uh, see, I, I need to get more data, so I don't have infantry trying to spot moving recon. I'm sorry about that. And I'm going to update this as I continue to play the game and do more tests. Infantry have to be 120 meters to, away from recon hiding in yellow cover to see them, or 60 meters if they're in green cover. What this means is recon are going to be almost, they're going to be incredibly difficult to spot unless if there's other recon in the area. Uh, like, you know, you have to be very, very close. Like a half track trying to spot a recon has to be 160 meters away if the recon's just standing in the open. If it's in yellow cover, that half track has to be 75 meters away. If it's in green cover, 45 meters. And I believe this test where you're using the M5 half track from the Americans, which has low optics. But a half track could spot infantry moving uh, at 400 meters. And again, this is infantry with good stealth, not recon. So looking at tanks, a tank with very low optics could spot a tank with very bad stealth if it was moving at 550 meters, but it could not, it can't ID it. It would just know it's a tank. Uh, infantry can spot a tank moving or standing at 1600 meters. If they have line of sight to a tank, they can see it. Now they won't know what it is. And I, that's another thing I need to update. 
is how close a tank has to get to infantry before they can recognize it. Uh, for a tank, that's 200 meters. So a tank with very low optics can spot a tank with very bad self at 200 meters. And it, uh, like ID it as well. You know what type of tank it is, it's AP and it's armor value. So a couple other little things. AT guns have normal optics and it, whether the AT so this was against another AT gun. Whether that AT gun was moving or standing, the range was maxed at 800 meters. Uh, I need to test, definitely do some tests on what can spot AT guns at which range. Uh, so that is a typo here. This should be recon. I don't know. That D was throwing me off. So, uh, anyways, I'm going to keep updating this sheet. So, in a future video, when this is a little bit more uh, f finalized and I format it better, I'll be sure to cover this again. I'll probably wait to do this again until the game's out of beta. Because who knows if this information is going to be correct very long. I mean, all, this all could change by the time the game's released uh i will link this in the video below i will also have more sheets at, at the bottom for example there's a pen sheet so this covers the difference between the armor piercing and armor value and the change to pen so in my previous video i uh link to this and talk about it so quickly this if you want to know uh well, you just watch my other video. I, I don't want to make this long, this one longer than it needs to be. So, uh, that's why I want to cover. That's how optics a good overview. Usually, if your unit is moving, it means it's going to be spotted roughly a hundred meters further further than it normally would be. Cover makes a big deal. Uh, tanks can hide in yellow cover, and it really cuts down on their sight. Uh, so. A tank trying to spot another tank, if it goes to yellow cover at 600 meters, it can't. Past 600 meters, it can't see it. But uh, infantry and recon can still see tanks in yellow cover from a good distance away. But they won't have the information on the tank. But anyways, that is uh, optics. Hopefully you learned some stuff. And hopefully you stick around my channel and catch future videos about Steel Division. Thanks for watching.